It's been one year since the state election and we've had some really big wins here in the electorate of Balmain. I wanted to thank you so much for your support over the last 12 months and also talk to you about how we're progressing on some of the election commitments and some of the other work that we've got underway. First, I gave a commitment to make more base swimmable and we've made some real progress this year. I had a successful motion to council at the end of last year and the Inner West Council is working really hard with the Parramatta River Catchment Group to make sure that we can get swimming in the Mort Bay. Number two, I committed to continuing the work of Jamie Parker to make sure that we were protecting our beautiful harbour from the dredging that was planned with the Western Harbour Tunnel project. We've had the government confirm just this year that they will go ahead and do tunnelling instead of dredging, which is a great win for our community and for the environment. Thirdly, the Greens will always stand with our community to protect our precious public housing and I've been so proud to stand alongside activists and advocates in making sure that Franklin Street public housing in Glebe has been saved from demolition. Number four, I made a commitment to get this government to filter the stacks and one of the first things that I did in New South Wales Parliament was move a motion to get this done. I've also secured a commitment from the New South Wales Chief Scientists and they're looking at it right now, the impacts of road traffic pollution. And we will use this to continue to push the government to get those stacks filtered. On top of all these election commitments, I've also been working with so many wonderful organisations and people across our community to make this little part of Sydney a better place to live. From organisations like the Leichhardt Women's Community Health Centre who are doing so much to improve the lives of women, to the Rainbow Lodge who are working to help First Nations men in particular on their journey out of prison and back into the community, and to the Knitting Nanas and the Balmain Roselle Climate Change Group who are all working so hard to get better action for our environment. I'm so privileged to have been working with so many wonderful people. We have such a passionate and dedicated community and I'm just so looking forward to working with each and every one of you to continue to push for change.